the pyramids, the Eiffel Tower, anything you want, baby, got the power. Go for you, don't you gotta go. and you're looking for somewhere healthy to eat, then I definitely recommend this place we're at right now. It's got 100% natural. Uh, the website is www.dailytogo.mx and uh, the food here is absolutely fantastic. We ate here when we first arrived off of the bus from the airport in Cancun and it was exactly what we needed. We were starving, we were roasting hot, carrying all of our bags and um, decided to come here again before we move on from Cancun down to our next destination which is Tulum. And I'm glad we came back because we had such a nice meal here last time. Staff are excellent. Place is nice and cool, charming. It's perfect. How is it? Tastes healthy. Yum. Tastes unhealthy. Mmm. Let me taste it. Yum, unhealthy. As usual, I've chosen right. As usual, I've chosen right. Gracias. Okay. Provecho, enjoy. What did you get? Enchiladas? Enchiladas. Vegetarian enchiladas. With a spicy red sauce, but this looks to me like a green sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True. And I got the tacos queso quebrosas. Quesabrosas. Okay, gracias. Quesabrosas. Down, Mahina. Today, They're going downtown. Just a little tip if you're coming to the bus station, the Adeo bus station here in Cancun to go anywhere, bring with you either really good earplugs or some noise cancelling headphones because these announcements do not stop for like one, they stop for like two seconds and then the next one comes on and it's just absolute constant noise. See what I mean? And it's boiling hot in here. Cannot wait to get on this bus, we've got 20 minutes to go. Oh my god, it's freezing. It's actually so cold. Woo, snacks! This bus company that we're traveling with is called Adeo. I think I mentioned that earlier. They seem to be the the biggest bus company in Mexico. The bus, is, the bus is really nice. Seats are very comfortable. Get the headrests here, just like on an airplane. You can easily sleep here, and I think the seat even reclines even further, which is a bit strange because I'm not really quite far back. The air conditioning is almost too good. I'm a little, I'm a little cold now, actually. Felicity, you don't think it's too bad, do you? Oh, it's lovely. She's enjoying it. It's a little chilly for me. I'm a little sensitive. 
Yeah, Khaleesi's knackered. We're both knackered. So, I'll probably go for a little sleep on this bus. And we'll see you lot in Tulum. Yeah, we'll see you there. You better be there, because we're going to be there. I just cut my toe open. We're on our way to our hostel here in Tulum. It's called the Mayan Monkey. And we're in the centre of town and it looks really nice and there's lots of little stalls and shops and stuff around. And we looked up the hostel and it was a 23 minute walk and we are like, oh that's not bad. But we didn't expect the type of terrain to be the way that it has been. And I've just cut my toe open and now this dog's giving us a hard time for being here. The road is like all muddy and rocky and slippy and full of puddles and stuff. And I just cut my toe open. It's so, so. There's explosions. Fireworks. Fireworks? Oh god. oh god, there's another dog coming to tell us off. These explosions keep going off randomly. And we just passed a drunk guy who was just oh, stammering away to us in Spanish. Yeah. Is this a celebration thing they're doing? Yeah, probably. Genuinely thought it was gunfire. There must be a, an easier way to get to this hostel than here. I've got blood all over my thongs. Oh. Yeah, there was. There was two ways and you picked the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, because I'm looking straight up ahead. There's a road here. I can see cars. Presumably that was like a pedestrianised way to get here. We came like the... Adventurous way. Adventurous? We came the back alley guerrilla warfare way. So far, very impressed with the Mayan monkey for a few reasons. Uh, we're actually staying in a 12 bed dorm, which on the surface sounds um, overpopulated and horrific. But uh, actually being here, the way they've got the room set out is, it, it works really well because you've got six people on this side and then round the other side of this wall there's another six beds. And it's not just like an open room full of bunk beds and people's stuff just lying everywhere. It's, uh, it's very well organized and the beds are like, got curtains and stuff, so it's like... Get out of here, pervert! <laughs> they were kind enough to give me some elastoplasts for my broken toe, so that was nice. I patched it up. Khaleesi had a little antiseptic wipe, so I got to use that to clean it, which was nice and stingy. And now we're going to go out and look for some dinner in Tulum. Hungry? You gotta go Anything you want, baby, got power. Go for it, don't you 